everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to head up to a local lake and see if we can catch some rainbow trout. Well, I just came out onto the lake and I met a couple people that were headed up to their cars and they said that they saw a fish but they couldn't get anything to bite. So when I came down they were fishing over here and I normally fish up here. So I'm afraid it's probably going to be a slow day but I think maybe what I'll try is to fish a little later tonight and see if that gives me a little better luck. The guys I talked to said they used waxies and salmon eggs and spoons and that they would come up and look at it and just weren't interested. So, we'll see how my little tungsten jig goes, but so far I haven't even seen a fish, but I've only been here for probably 15 minutes. Right to this side, my hole, there's a weed line and it's sand underneath where I'm fishing. I don't know if I should have been on the deep side of the weeds instead of the shallow side or what, but this lake is mostly a bowl without a lot of huge structure change, so this is where I was last time when I did well and when I didn't do well. So.
so I decided to uh, take a swing over and look at these snow sculptures. Unfortunately, the, the we had a little warm up last week and it looks like it degraded this one. This one was an angel. I don't know if you can really make the angels out there, but that was pretty cool. Um, and this one is like an eagle. So that one's really cool. And what do we got over here? Uh, oh, this one's gonna be an elephant. Obviously an elephant. So that's pretty fun. So I walked into my local home and garden store and I saw that propane cylinders were on sale. And because I kind of always want to check to see how much they are, uh, sometimes I do like to buy new ones just to replace my bottles that I refill. As most of you know, I refill all my propane cylinders. But after a while when they get old and I've refilled them a number of times, I like to replace them. So I came in and I saw that they were on sale for $6.79 a piece. And I thought, gosh, that maybe is a good deal. And then I thought, well, I don't think it's that great of a deal, actually. Because normally I can buy them for $3.50 a piece. Well, okay, so they're a couple cents off. But then I started thinking about it and I thought, well, if I can buy two single cylinders for $7, why would I buy a two-pack for $7.80? So I'm going to spend 80 more cents just to have a plastic clip on my cylinders. So then I started thinking, well, what if I bought four of them? Well, a four pack is $14.59. So $14.59 divided by four equals $3.64. So to buy a four pack, which normally you think if you buy in bulk, you get a cheaper price? No, they're more expensive by 20 cents. So I can buy the singles for $3.49 a piece, or if I buy the four pack, they're $3.64 a piece. So it always pays to be smart, watch your pricing, and not fall for the more is better and cheaper thing. You really got to look at the individual prices and see if you're actually getting a deal or if you're getting Thank you much, I'll go over to the yard. You guys probably saw me carry in that wood stove. So was that, when I was at Fleet Farm, I just went in for bird seed and I saw that wood stove was on clearance and it was normally $350 and it was on clearance for 150. So I picked it up, hopefully I won't regret it. Um, I kind of wanted something that had some glass on it just so I could see the fire for a little, you know, atmosphere, but for $150 for a brand new stove that, you know, I know has good seals and good, you know, asbestos uh, cords and stuff. I think it was a good deal and I think it was a wise choice. Um, I'm a little bit concerned it might be too big for the space I need it in, but I guess I can always open a window too. So that will go in the Amish shack when it arrives this spring up in the homestead. And yeah, I'll be pretty excited to have a heat source in there for next winter. So it looks like it comes apart so I think I can probably, if it's too heavy to move by myself, take it apart a little bit more and then put it back together and handle it that way. <laughs> 